Good evening, everyone. Uh, I hope you are all doing well. Um, today, I am going to create a, a new tutorial on how to set up SSL certificate for a Node.js application. For this project, uh, I will use Net.js and uh, Nginx for the web server and Let's Encrypt to create the SSL certificate. Okay, so let's get started. So I am in my EC2 dashboard. I'm going to create a new instance. I'm going to launch an instance here. Um, that's just a moment. Let me refresh uh, this page. So my goal is to set up a simple Nginx application using Next framework. Then set up. Um, SSL certificate, point a domain, and uh, set up SSL certificate for that. Okay, let's try one more time. Uh, not sure why the error is coming. Let's probably I need to go to a VPN. Okay. Let's go to instances and then create launch instance. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to choose Amazon Linux 2. I will stay within the free tier, so I will choose T2 Micro. Then I will choose IAM role, which is EC2 SSM. Everything else I will keep as default. Next, I would add storage, add tags. So uh, let's use the name tag as node.js. I'm going to use an existing security group. Launch button. So I'm back here. I'm going to launch an instance. View instances. OK. So my instance is uh, preparing. Now I'm going to set up Node.js over there and also Nginx. So this is my instance still painting so I need to wait for a few moments okay meanwhile it is uh, being prepared I am going to search in my website how to set up node.js to set up node.js you need I'm going to install or going to use uh, NVM Okay, so that's pretty simple. I'm going to just copy this command. Uh, 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 still pending. So let's refresh one more time. Okay, it's ready. It's almost ready. Let's connect to that instance. I'm going to use session manager. So let's connect here. Okay, so let me go to switch the user to as root. 
go to home slash user. Okay, so I'm going to paste the command. It's the command to install NVM. It's done. Then I'm going to copy this. Paste it, run it. Okay. Um, then I'm going to uh, check the node version. So let's try to install NVM install node. It will install node 15, our latest version. Okay, it's done. Uh, let me clear my screen. Let's check the node version here. That's 15, great. Now I'm going to install uh, next JS. So NVM hi. Yes, CLI. Well, it will take some time because it's uh, going to fetch all those dependencies and install those into your Linux machine. This is also going to run it or install it as a global, so it will be available everywhere. Okay, that's done. So um, let me install one more thing. That's PM2, npm install globally, PM2. Okay, that's done. I've installed PM2 as well. So now I'm going to create a simple application using next. So next, new, um, my app. This is a, uh, this will create a basic installation. I will, I'm going to use NPM here. So it will install a simple application skeleton for you. And using this, you can continue further. So um, that's right, while it's finished. In the meanwhile, I go to my website, AWS with Atik, and search for uh, Nginx, because I need to set up Nginx into my web server. I can choose this article. I have written all the instructions into this article, so you can uh, follow this. Let's uh, so the yum y. Okay, this the installation is still going on, so let's wait. Okay, that's done. Let's clear my screen. I do an LS to see the files. So I have, there's a folder has been created here, my app, if you can see. Let's go to my app, CD my app. Then I'm going to uh, run the command here. NPM run build so this will create a build version for this project now th this is not a professional project it's just a uh, skeleton that provides by nest chairs and uh, what they will do it's they will create uh, a directory called dist inside the directory there will be a file called uh, app.js so main.js so let's go to dist sorry 
C D D I S T ls so here we have uh, main.js this is the file now i'm going to run is pm2 start main.js okay so it's running uh, by default it's going to use the port 3000 so um, it's already running but i cannot see it because my port 3000 is shut off or not used at all. What I'm going to do is I will install Nginx and do a reverse proxy to pro proxy all the requests or divert the port 3000's output to port 80. That means that's the HTTP port. So uh, let's install uh, Nginx. So that's installing, uh, that's updating the yum packages. After that, we are going to install the Nginx. Here's the command to install the Nginx. Yes, I'm going to install Nginx into this Linux machine. That's done. Let's clear this screen. And then what I'm going to do is uh, start the Nginx service. System CTL, start Nginx. Okay. I've started it. If I copy this IP and paste into my browser, oops, sorry, that's not the correct one. Copy this IP and paste into my browser. I will see the default port, default welcome page of Nginx, but that's not what I want to see. I want to see the website and how can I do that? Okay, so now I'm going to create a virtual host here with reverse proxy. So what I have to do is uh, I have created a text here, how Nginx server block to create a virtual host. So I'm just going to copy this and uh, then I'm going to open a file. So do vi etc uh, nginx uh, conf.t then uh, let's say um, atik.com dot conf sorry dot c o n f Then I'm going to paste the content. So what is here it's doing? It's uh, listening port 80, that's the HTTP port. It is referring to this server name. I'm going to just change this. So let's see, nginx, that's the name, nginx. Uh, oh, sorry, let me give the uh, node.js, node. N O D E J S. Okay, it's really, really, really stupid. No JS. And then this is the reverse proxy where proxy pass equals to HTTP 127.000.1 colon 3000. This is my Nginx application is running on port 3000. And uh, these are default things. So that's it. I'm going to save this. Okay. I'm going to restart the Nginx server. So do systemctl restart Nginx. If all works fine, then it will restart. That's fine. Now I'm going to point my domain to this IP address. This is the IP. This is my domain. I'm just going to add a new record here, which is Node.js. Uh, it's not proxy, DNS, save it. Okay, so let's go to browser and type uh, node.js.aws with tick.com. 
and here's my output hello world this is not a big thing but what i have done here is uh, my node.js application is running on port 3000 which i have proxied to port 80 or uh, bypass to port 80 the output is showing to you now if, if i make the applications more fruitful and uh, i create more features then this will have more data here and you will have a nice uh, applications still we are not finished yet uh, we need to install ssl so um, for that we are going to use let's encrypt i'm going to search on my website uh, amazon linux 2 if i search amazon linux 2 there will be some articles into my website which says how to set up uh, let's encrypt yeah there it is how to set up let's encrypt with amazon linux 2 if i go down slightly go down here it is so this is the part i just copy and paste here that's done then one more line this is actually enabling epel okay that's done then we are going to install this uh, part here just remember i'm going to change it to nginx because we are uh, using here nginx just a simple change uh, nginx okay so now we have running nginx um, Okay, let's continue this part. Then I'm going to go to the next stage, which is sudo start port. Then rather than Apache, I'm going to use Nginx. Okay. And for at with epic.com yes and agree your services okay here it suggests which names would you like to activate https for so this is the actual domain name that i want to activate i give the option one and press enter okay that's it now, if I refresh this page, I should be able to have HTTPS. That's it. So now we have HTTPS enabled and that's great. So what we did in summary, we set up uh, Amazon Linux 2. We installed Node.js over there using NVM. Then we installed the uh, Nest.js framework we installed PM2. We create an application with Nest.js CLI. We then install Nginx. We have then set up the domain to point to the um, port 80 of Nginx, where my Nginx, sorry, port 80 of Nginx, where my Node.js application was running on port 3000. And then when I uh, installed uh, Let's Encrypt side port, created a certificate now we are having uh, an ssl to browse the domain and this is the output of my nginx application okay i hope uh, this will help you to set up uh, this will help you to um, set up node.js for production environments and you can use uh, let's unkeep to set up ssl in your production environment where node.js is running with nginx Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.